Welcome to a very special Tenor Reacts tonight as we celebrate someone's birthday. You know him. He is a friend of the channel. So tonight I'm going to be taking a look at the song Walking in the Air. So quite a Christmas flavour tonight. I mean, very briefly, we can't just talk about Christmas like a, a throwaway kind of phrase without connecting with the main man himself, Father Christmas. Uh, so so can we connect to, to the uh, uh, Christmas dude himself? And he's got no idea what he's doing. <laughs> Like everything meaningful and cuddly, short but sweet there from Father C. <laughs> and we're buffering. <laughs> Good start. Not the best birthday tribute. Why are we buffering? Right, okay. Cancel that and okay we're good let's go we're walking in the air. okay what's not expecting that wow <laughs> so what's not expecting this <laughs> Oh, oh, I, I nearly said a naughty there. The way he went and negotiated that transition. Oh, can I just ruin a few people's nights here? I, I'm just interested to see how high he is. Right, let, let's go You're back. But it, it's it's the way he's dusting and dancing there. Very magical. Very... Um, can I just quickly talk about how I'm loving his swan-like? What I mean by swan-like it is you, you know how graceful a swan is they're also very nasty they have got a nasty vindictive <laughs> even when you're only trying to help them they no no I will, oh yeah yeah i was bitten by a swan oh how lovely ow ow okay so you're still with the dinosaurs then. <laughs> I guess they just want to be left alone. So let, let's just respect that. But let, let's go back to what I was saying, how I got onto my nightmare attack, uh, courtesy of the Folkestone Swan, uh, um, is his transition is so graceful and so... Uh, oh. Have I ruined it? No, I haven't. Uh, um, it's so graceful and so... You, you know how swans are when they're moving and the motion. You know, even when they're swimming, it, it's... I don't, I don't know. It, it's ballet in water. That's the closest I've ever been able to get to an adjective to describe. So beautiful. The floating in the moonlit sky. Love is ooh, ooh, fell. The people far below are sleeping as we fly. I love that, love that. <laughs> I know we've already been we've heard we've seen that but oh 
That is such a moment in itself. You know what I mean? It, it's such a... Oh, there's such control there. You, you know, it, it's almost like if music, a, a group of musical notes had wings and you, you saw them fluttering, it, it gave me that. If I just take take it back, right before that, Ooh. that so, so it's on the O oval. The way it's balanced and it's like I I can't explain it. Oh. I'm riding in the midnight blue. Love how he's leaning in. I'm fighting I can fly so high above with you. And also or also really loving the vocal what weights here. You know, some are larger than others, especially when he's leaning right, right in. And other parts are barely touching, barely touching. And it's full of fragile kind of, if you could weigh a whisper, it would be that kind of. I, this is so fascinating to me. I love it. I've always really loved this part of this song. I mean, it's hard not to think, isn't it, of the snowman whenever we are around any cover uh, for, from walking in, uh, walking on air, walking in air, walk, walk, what? Walking in the air, walking in the air. Right, okay, it's not on the air, it's in the air. Do you know what? There's something really special about this, this performance, this cover. And I think for me, it certainly the contrast moments you know it, it it's a bit like what i was just talking about you know the the vocal intensity you know so, so leaning in and really uh making those notes count yet in the same breath and he has so much good, great control. Yet in the same breath, it's those fragile kind of, you know, oh, I love it. Far across the world. Oh, was that a slide there? Far I love the accuracy. What did he just do there? The villagers don't buy like no, I can't get to it, which is annoying. The and the hills, the did he? And the oh, on the. the, and the hills. So I think he closed and then opened very, very quickly, I think. This dude is doing a lot of fast vocal niceties, so fast and so rapid that, you know, even I can sometimes struggle. The forest and the stream. Ooh. That was rather nice. Oh. Oh. oh, I love that! Oh my god, 
that resonance. Sorry, sorry, I'm. Gia. I love how open that is. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh, did it, did it. Right. Uh, right, sorry, sorry. On surprise, um, he closed that off with a zzz. Oh, that that was gorgeous. That was um, how we finished uh, below. Um, he, he kind of sweeped into that. So delicate. What, 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 what? Floating by. Right, so, um, floating by. But what? Oh, he, he's just done it and I've already forgotten it. Right, okay, sorry, sorry. Floating. This is so interesting. This is basically a masterclass, isn't it? <laughs> really? You, you know, it's a cracking performance. But if you're an inspiring singer just watch stuff like this you, you know you can read all the best textbooks and tutorials watch the old tutorials but if like me you're you more or less can view a performance and feel it this is the kind of stuff to watch, in my opinion, you know, and then go away and not necessarily copy because we all want to be us in music, don't we? But I would be a liar, a, a sat down liar if I told you certainly some of the stuff that Ella Fitzgerald has done I've not kind of borrowed and mon modified so it makes sense to mi my y you know so, so this is fantastic Quite emotional, actually. Oh, nice. There is something really endearing and charming about the flute. Every time I listen to a solo piece from this instrument, I, I don't know, I, I'm kind of taken to a Celtic forest setting, wood setting, nature, I, I don't know, I, are there certain instruments that do that to you? Or am I just completely solo on your own that? I mean, what other instruments have we got? I, I know we've got the guitar, like, sounding amazing. The acoustic 
guitar, love that for this, you know, but I'm just trying to work out. So we've got the cello, uh, but there were a, a, a few more instruments. Uh, the camera pan to hang on so uh, have we got the keys I assume I assume we've got the uh... yeah yeah I think we've got the keys Suddenly oh did you hear that really low uh, um, note from the cello Let, let's see if we can That, that, that is Jaws territory. I love the way it kind of snuck in. Like, it almost, if pitches were able to, like, have a word with you. It was like, don't mind me. I'm just going to sit here and mind my own business. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I totally picked up on that. Loved that. Oh, oh, love that crowd. <laughs> Can I just like totally take that back? Because that's like, uh, uh. you get that. Are you all right? Have you still got your hearing? I'm so sorry. I should warn you lot before I like kind of. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. Uh, um, so yes, a lovely, oh, um, full-bodied, love that. And what else? Oh, that resonance. Yes, yes. Oh, so robust and so like, oh, where, where? Where is it taking me? I love all the textures and all the colours intertwining here. It is so interesting. Um, it, it, I, I, mm. I mean, are you joking? <laughs> it's the opposite ends, isn't it? in who sees what we're hearing and the emotion oh my god uh, sorry right i need to take that back it was so satisfying to listen to you know what i mean because of how well it was supported and it was like it gave me life i was born again <laughs> okay and then of course we had i think it's a natural vocal vocal leap isn't it let, let me just have a, another listen hang on Yeah, yeah, it's vocal fleep. Uh, vocal fleep? Vocal fleep. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, what did the... Yeah, it had to have an appearance again, didn't it? The, the cheeky cello. <laughs> that was awesome. I, I'm trying to work out uh, actually the intervals here, here, but I, I, you know, it's quite a busy sound. That was fantastic. And I'll be back next time uh, for another Tenoriax reaction. Bang, boom, bosh. <laughs>